With a focus on mining and energy, discussions towards a greener Africa was brought to the fore, an Africa driven by clean energy and less dependence on fossil fuel. Especially considering that climate change and its challenges are issues that Africa can no longer ignore. The challenges require our collective efforts and resolve to overcome them and thus the need to adjust our policies to become greener if we are to safeguard our planet and indeed to safeguard our future. Speakers say there is a need for Africa to take a bold stand at the next Global Energy Summit by presenting a united front on its strategy to navigate through the much talked about global energy transition. We must therefore ask ourselves whether the best way for Africa to contribute to the world's goal of net zero emissions is to reduce Africa's greenhouse gas emissions from about 3.65% as it is currently to say about 2.5% and in the process squeeze and almost suffocate African economies. Or are there other ways for Africa to contribute to the goal that will be more effective but not be at the expense of its economic growth and development? While the continent decides whether or not to play catch up with the developed economies, the continent is positioned to be a mining destination, judging by the abundance of mineral resources required by developed economies to drive a green economy. The transition actually essentially de depends on mining because you look at all the resources that you need in all the sustainable greener energy, it's all from mining. Uh, you're looking at electric cars, you're looking at lithium for make batteries, you're looking at uh, windmills, you need copper, uh, you know, all the minerals that you need in even to make your solar panels, these are the minerals you need, aluminium and all that, which comes from mining. So. All this, this sustainable thing cannot be done without mining. That's why mining is a major stakeholder. You look at the, at the world today and the biggest companies in the world, everybody is trying to find these minerals and they don't really exist in abundance all over the world. West Africa is at the frontier now of the mineral exploration and the mining development towards providing a sustainable energy uh, industry. The sector, however, is not without its fair share of challenges from illegal mining Access to data and finance, Nigeria's mining sector is described as underdeveloped. We've fallen behind in terms of availability of data, and that's had a knock on effect in terms of finance. Uh, you're looking at a sector that has a long gestation period to develop a project. A longer gestation period, if you're looking at going from something from a discovery through to proving it's bankable, through to building it, you know, the commodity cycles can change, global economic cycles can change. So you need that strategic, knowledgeable capital, long-term capital in the sector to enable projects to go. If the data doesn't exist, no one wants to put that in. Now the knock-on effect of not having the data is nobody now wants to, wants to be the first to invest in the sector that hasn't been tried and tested. While Africa contributes less than 4% to greenhouse gas emissions, the continent suffers the devastating impact of climate change. Stakeholders believe the continent, while transitioning at its own pace, can maximize the resources at its disposal to build infrastructure required to withstand shocks caused by climate change. Only Sunday, Arise News.